Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix this blue screen of death that you'll get every single time you turn on your machine. Uh, so you won't even be able to boot up to the desktop, you'll get this at every single uh, system startup. Uh, this blue screen uh, affects Windows 7 and Windows 8 systems. Uh, you get in this uh, error message because typically there'll be a cr either a corrupt file on your hard disk or there's a bad sector that'll be causing this issue. Now I'm going to show you the way how to fix it with the Windows 7 CD uh, but the process will be exactly the same for Windows 8. So what you do is you put uh, the install media that you installed the operating system with so here I've got Windows 7 so I'll put the Windows 7 DVD into my machine turn the machine on and then it says press any key to boot to DVD so after that screen you'll then come to this screen so if you just uh, select your options click next uh, do not click install now down the bottom here click on repair your computer then it's going to boot into a screen where you can run certain tools to recover your system. Uh, so we can see here it's found uh, the operating system Windows 7. If you look on the right hand side here, location, it's actually put it on the D drive. Even if it was on the C drive before, it remaps the drives here. So just pay attention to what that letter is there. Uh, so we can see here that the letter is D. So if we click next, now the very first thing we want to do is click on command prompt and type in this command chkdsk space d colon. That's the D drive that we just saw in the previous screen. If it is on a different drive like ERF, type in the, the drive that it was on. Now we need to do a, some options, so forward slash f, forward slash r and forward slash x so if you type in that command and hit enter this is now going to check your system for any corrupt files and it will automatically uh, recover the corrupt files it's also going to check for um, bad boot sectors as well and it will automatically recover those as well so I like to run this first of all if I'm getting this issue because you don't make any changes to your system at all it's going to just fix some files that are corrupted so I'm gonna come out of this now but obviously let that scan run uh, at the end of it it will say it's completed successfully restart your machine hopefully it will boot to Windows with no problem if it doesn't repeat the process again so put the uh, Windows install media into your machine boot to it come to this menu then click on the startup repair so if you click that it's just going to run this it's going to stack scan your system for any startup issues and it will fix anything that it's found so again run that reboot your machine hopefully you'll fix it if it doesn't uh, come in here click on system restore and then hopefully there'll be a restore point that you can um, go back to uh, but please bear in mind if you do restore to an old version of your operating system you might lose certain things like you might lose some programs that were previously installed in your machine uh, possibly if you store emails or data locally it will, that will go missing as well uh, so just be very careful if you do use that option but yeah please uh, post any comments you might have about this uh, below please let me know how you get on with this method on your machine hopefully it did resolve your issue just let me know either way if it did or didn't and maybe we can help you further uh, please subscribe uh, to get uh, the latest videos I release. Thanks a lot.